perhaps some kind of dancing in which one has the opportunity to participate. Most of us are game enough to try a two-step or maybe a very slow waltz, but an awful lot of us make for the sidelines during the cha-chas and the rumbas and the tangos. Now, somewhere in the middle of this spectrum is something very American called the square dance. And on that one, I'm not quite sure whether I'm spectating or participating. But during the next few minutes, we should all have a very good chance to decide, because coming up should be the best in square dancing takes place at the 10th Annual National Square Dance Convention in Detroit's new Cobo Hall. And with the help of station WWJ-TV in Detroit, we're going to switch there now to watch some participants. A long-cherished dream has become a reality this weekend for square dance enthusiasts in the Detroit area and the Michigan area because Detroit is the host of the 10th Annual National Square Dance Convention, an event which has attracted thousands of dancers from every corner of the United States and Canada. Sponsored by the Michigan Council of Square and Round Dance Clubs, the convention is a three-day program featuring colorful, exciting spectacles, exhibitions, clinics, and workshops of the square dance movement. Now two and four, I can left back and bow to the partners on. Whoa, boy, that's all. Hi, I'm Shelby Newhouse of WWJ-TV, and here in the Cobo Hall Arena, the second day of this National Square Dance Convention is literally in full swing, and standing beside me is the general chairman, the man who made this Detroit convention possible, Mr. Harold Erickson. And Harold, I know most of the folks know what a a business or industrial convention or fraternal order convention is like, but what's the purpose of a square dance convention? Well, this is a get-together of, you might say, the clan. Uh, square dancers from all over the country here come here to learn new dances, learn new routines, and just have a lot of fun and dance. So this is not just a play convention, it is a work convention. Oh, well, yes, we have a number of panels. As a matter of fact, we have 14 panel sessions where they discuss the various phases of square dancing and round dancing and uh, decide what they want to do in the future, what they should mm -hmm. pick up uh, new, new routines or anything else like that. Well, how many folks are here? Well, we had a re registration, a pre-registration of 13,500, and we expect we'll probably have somewhere around 18,000, could go to 20,000. We know they come from all over the country, but are all the states represented? On the pre-convention registration, we had 43 of the 50 states represented, we have seven of the Cana or five, five of the Canadian provinces. We have three people coming from Saudi Arabia, four people coming from Mexico. We have uh, six people coming from Madrid, Spain. But well, really, the folks that we see here today are just a, a small part of the entire group. That's right. Well, we're going to have uh, one of the finest callers in the country uh, do a call for us right now and give us a square dance demonstration. He hails from Glendale, California, Arnie Cronenberger. What kind of a call is this going to be? Well, if this is going to be what they call a patter call. So Arnie, here to you and the crowd. All right, he says it over. Let's fire him away, and here we go. Bow to your partner, corner salute, and join your hands, go lickety scoot. Circle left the round and go. Reverse, single, file, lady in the lead, go bow and file. All four gents, step out, take a back track. Now meet your own right hand all the way around. Left alley man, your partner right, right and left right. Go right and left around the bend, meet your own promenade them two by two. Home you go as you always do, home you go with a little bit of thing, right back home, now one and three, bow and swing. Move up to the middle and back, forward again and pass through, split the ring. Round one, into the middle with a right and left through. Same two, pass through and split the ring, go round one, now line up four. Go forward, up and back, now pass through, join hands arch in the middle, the ends turn in and circle four. Go once around in the middle of the floor, pass through. Split the ring, go round one, make a line of four, forward, up and back. Pass through, join hands, arch in the middle, the ends turn in and circle four. One time around you go. Pass 
Cross to left alley, man. Your partner right to right to left ground. Grand right and the left to round. Promenade two by two. Promenade as you always do. Well, home you go around the square. Right back home until you get there. And two and four. Bound swing two and four. Lead to your right. Circle four. Doing fine. And sides in. Spick to a line of four. Forward up and back. Right and left through across to go. Those same two right and left back and same two girls chain across. Down the line, two ladies chain, keeping in time. Turn around and chain across, don't get lost. Go down the line, two ladies chain, keeping time. Turn on around and four ladies chain. Grand chain across to go and circle eight. Eight hands are down the ring. Now ladies roll a half sachet and circle to the left, same old way. Now ladies roll a half sachet, grand right and left to right. Go right and left around the ring, you meet your own pretty little girl and promenade you go around. Home you go around the square, right back home when you get there, let's bow to your partner. Now to your corner, wave with the girl across the hall and whoa boy, that's all. The square dancers have taken over Detroit and their enthusiasm is contagious. You know, when the dancers begin, they start in what is called a set. And so appropriately enough, the national magazine is called Sets in Order. And the magazine editor is Bob Osgood. And Bob, can you give us an idea of the acceptance uh, of square dancing around the country? Well, Shelby, there's square dancing in just about every city, certainly every state in the United States. and. Uh, every province in Canada and about 40 countries overseas. Well, is the trend up or down? Are more people square dancing today than ever before? I would certainly say that the fad is over and that everyone is getting into the act. Let's hope so. How does a fellow get to be a caller? Well, he just increases his enthusiasm for dancing until one day either he's needed to call or he just gets that urge and goes out and learns. You get to meet people all over the country, I'm sure, and you find that uh, uh, if someone wants to go into square dancing, he can easily find a group to do so? Yes, he can check in at his city hall or parks and recreation. Actually, everybody out there ought to be square dancing here with us, or at least starting in a class at home. And how about the dresses the ladies wear? I notice there's so many different kinds that they've got on and, and colors. And... Well, Shelby, a lot of these people pattern their dresses off after the old-time ones, but most of them make them after new patterns and make them themselves or buy them from the stores around town. What about the music? What's well, the origin of square dance music? The square dance music is uh, traditional for the most part, with a little taste of the modern instruments tossed in. We've time for just a bit more. If Arnie Cronenberger is ready, here we go with a singing call. All right. Let's do a little bit of somebody else's date. You want to bow and swing with your partner in single file, all promenade. Girls backtrack around that world, and step in behind the girl, trail behind him for a while. Girls roll out past one man, corners all left alley man. Grand right eight around that world, and then you promenade with your... From Cobo Hall Arena in Detroit, we've brought you a portion of the 10th Annual National Square Dance Convention. One and three, this is Shelby Newhouse, WWJ-TV, returning you to today in New York. Star right for the <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold still. <laughs> I haven't decided yet whether to be a spectator or a participant in this. But what do you say? Well, I love to square dance, but the only problem is if I join in on the dancing, I can't enjoy watching. I've been whirling around the studio here with my broom, and I missed out on half of what happened. <laughs> oh, I think dancing would be uh, more fun if you have confidence in the rest of the dancers. It's something like being an acrobat. You've got to have confidence in the fella who is swinging to you. That's true. Disaster if, is, if you're this not. Is, uh, this is one of these dances in which you lock arms, mm -hmm. people going in opposite True. directions. Mm -hmm. And the one who weighs more wins, and then you go in That's his direction. Right. You sound as though you've never square danced, Ed. I haven't done much of it. I'm a city boy. City boy? <laughs>